If humans and present-day apes share a common ancestry, why don't apes exhibit logical thinking and develop like humans? What enabled humans to become civilized? Well, that's a good question. So we do we know that apes and humans share a common ancestry. The last uh, common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees, I think the split happened, what, two to four million years before today, roughly? And then there was a common ancestor of humans, chimpanzees and gorillas that existed around roughly, I think, eight million years before today. Don't quote me on that. I could be off by a million or two years, but you get the point, right? We had common ancestors. So why don't apes exhibit the same kind of thinking, etc., that we do? It's because of we because we evolved differently. Think about dogs and 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 bears. You look at a dog's face, you can look at a bear's face, quite similar, right? They would at some point in time have had uh, common ancestors, but they have different levels of intelligence. I, I know bears are also very intelligent. They're almost like gigantic dogs. But uh, let me give a, <laughs> give a better example. Uh, Consider the difference between a chimpanzee and uh, a lower monkey, like a slow loris or something. Significant difference in, in the level of intelligence. It's because each species evolved separately and in different ways. In the past, you did not have air travel, you know, train travel, all that stuff. So you could not travel long distances. It was very hard to travel long distances on foot. So when populations got split off for whatever reason, they evolved for millions of years separately. And wherever you evolve, there are different sets of parameters, different sets of climatic and geographical conditions, different kinds of foods that's available and so on. And because of that, the, the species evolved differently and acquired different characteristics. And I think it was because of whatever accident of nature that we evolved the way we did. Our brains became much larger. We became mostly bipedal. Chimpanzees and gorillas can still crouch and you know walk on all fours. We are exclusively bipedal creatures. And when you become bipedal and you stand up on two feet, then you the your eyes are much higher from the ground than, for example, that of a cat or a dog. I mean, if you you know there are videos on YouTube. People some some people attach GoPro cameras or small cameras to the collars of cats and all. And then you can see the world from their level. And you can see how much closer to the ground it is and how much, how less information is accessible to the eyes at that level. But when you're higher up, I mean, think of it. You go to the top of a 100-story 100, 100 building and see how far you can see and how much information is available to your brain just through your eyes. So the higher you are, the more information is available and the more your brain needs to develop to be able to process that information in real time. So because we became bipedal, exclusively bipedal, our brains had to adapt to this postural change and grow larger to be able to uh, absorb and process more information, much more information in real time. Chimpanzees can walk on two feet, but they often wa walk on all fours, etc. Right? And so because of the different ways in which we evolved, we we acquired different levels of intellectual abilities and uh, different levels of intelligence. So I think what enabled humans to become civilized, first of all, we became more intelligent. We, our brains, the size of our brain, the, the volume of our brainial capacity increased because of our bipedal stature, the bipedal posture of ours. And then uh, because the brain had expanded, it had become capable of absorbing and processing more data, more information. We also It also manifested itself in other ways. We became more social, communicative. We developed language. We developed societies, cooperation, eventually division of labor. Then we eventually discovered fire and so on and so forth. So these are the process by way, processes in agriculture and then civilization. So these are the processes by which we, we became way more civilized than apes. And that's essentially how it is. That's that's all about evolution.